Patients who had lost their sight to an inherited retinal disease, now they could see well enough to navigate a maze after being treated with a new gene therapy. This is according to research presented in AAO 2017 in the annual meeting of American Academy of Ophthalmology. Patients in the study had a condition called Leber congenital amaurosis, abbreviation of LCA, which begins in infancy and progresses, causing complete blindness in adulthood. This new first-of-kind gene therapy is currently under review of U.S. Food Drug Administration for potential approval this year. There are currently no treatment available for inherited retinal diseases. Data from the first randomized controlled study showed 27 out of 29, which means 93% experienced meaningful improvement of their vision, enough that they could navigate a maze in low to moderate light. They also showed improvement in light sensitivity and peripheral vision, which are two deficits that patients experience. Approval could open the door for other gene therapies that could eventually treat more than 225 genetic mutations known to cause blindness. It could be applied to retinitis pigmentosa, which is another inherited retinal disease caused by defective gene. Or in the future, gene therapy could possibly provide key proteins needed to restore vision in more common diseases such as ARMD, age-related macular degeneration. Leber congenital amaurosis, LCA, is a rare disease affecting one in 80,000 individuals caused by about 19 different genes. The treatment called VOR-T gene involves genetically modified version of a harmless virus. The virus is modified to carry healthy version of the gene into the retina. Physicians in inject billions modified viruses into both patients' eyes, and the treatment does not restore normal vision. It does, however, allow patients to see shapes and light, allowing them to get around without cane or a guide dog. More than 200 patients with LCA have participated in the gene therapy since 2007. However, no gene therapy has gotten this close to FDA approval for retinal diseases or any other diseases. In October, an advisory committee to FDA endorsed the treatment and the FDA is not obliged to follow the recommendations of the advisory committee, but usually does. The agency is expected to make its decision later than Jane 2018.